Welcome, my name is Mario and today I'm going to be walking you through how to install a collector so you can start ingesting your host metrics into the Sumo Logic service. If you click on the metrics tab, you'll be prompted with a screen similar to this one. Notice that because I'm an administrator, I have the ability to set up my metric. It will take me directly into the setup wizard. Let's follow the example of the host metrics. I will follow the prompts here to select my operating system, copy this, and you notice how this continue button is grayed out because it's waiting for me to actually run this command into a terminal. And what this is going to do is it's going to download the collector, it's going to install that collector, and then it's going to use the token to do a security handshake with the Sumo Logic service. When the collector finishes downloading, I'm prompted for my password. My installation is now complete, and I can go back to the UI and see how my grayed out button is now ready to roll. As part of the installation of the collector, I get up to set up my source for my host metrics. Let's give it a more meaningful name. In my case, I'm going to call them metrics slash host slash apps. So this is my metrics for my apps. I'm going to copy this so I can use it at a later time. I can specify the time interval. I want to pull those metrics. And last but not least, I can select the metrics that I want. By default, we give you CPU and memory. You notice that you can expand any of these categories to see the metrics underneath and I can see detail for each one of those metrics. I'm going to grab all the metrics that are in here and click on continue. Once my collector and sources have been set up, I have the ability to start querying my data. You notice that when I click that button, it actually opened a second tab because it's opening a Sumo Logic dashboard that comes out of the box with my host metrics, which I can start using to identify trends in my metrics. If I click back on the metrics tab, I have the ability to start querying my metrics. If you remember, I specified a source category that was metrics host apps, and I can see how it's helping me here through the autocomplete to identify what I'm looking for. Let's choose a very simple metric. How about something like CPU idle? So this is the syntax that you would use to search for a metric. You specify the source category, and then you specify the name of the metric that you're looking for. And there you go. In this case, I'm looking at my metric called CPU idle. Of course, I just installed this collector, so I don't see data for the last 15 minutes. I only see data for the last minute that I've seen. Let's go back to that dashboard that was set up for me. Again, I can see only about a minute's worth of data because I just installed this collector, but this metrics overview gives me a great idea of all the different metrics that just got loaded. I can see CPU idle, I can see CPU load, I can see system memory, free system memory, I can see total used, disk available, uh, disk used, and I can see the network in and out bytes per host as well. This is one of the many dashboards that got installed. If you want to see the other dashboards that were installed as well, you can always go into library, go under your particular name, under personal and you will see that there is a new folder called host metrics and under this new folder you will see all the different dashboards that got installed once for each one of the areas CPU, disk, memory, network and TCP. Don't forget to click back on personal and under host metrics for that particular um, folder make sure you publish that dashboard because you want to make sure that this met dashboard and all these, this app in general, and all the content for this app is available for all your users. You can do this by clicking on this icon, and you'll have the ability to change the name if you want to, change the description, and eventually click on publish. And now this dashboard, all these dashboards in this app are been made available for anybody else who wants to see them. If you click on org, and you go to your particular name, in this case, if I go to my name, I can see that host metrics is something that I've shared with everybody in the organization. I've just shown you how to load your metrics using an installed collector. Thank you.